When thinking about youth unemployment and especially about how to solve it, we have to imagine that the starting position of young people in Europe is key. So we have to invest in education and in knowledge because knowledge is the most fundamental resource we have among people in Europe. Second of all, what's really important is a reform of the labor market. There needs to be more flexibility so that people can be hired based on merit and not because they are part of the establishment or those who have already been in their places for a long time. Currently, there is a division between, let's say, the insiders, those people who've already established their job, they're comfortable, they're not tested anymore, and the outsiders, newcomers to the labor market, such as young people, but also such as women who are returning to their jobs or immigrants. And so besides this flexibility, we have to understand that the government cannot solve youth unemployment alone. It should be a cooperation between the private sector, those who are players in the market, and also the public sector, of course. And in this cooperation, we should also look at the opportunities of entrepreneurship, because young people, we should not forget, they're not a problem, they're not just unemployed, but they are the creative minds of our societies, and their entrepreneurial creative ideas can be one of the most valuable assets we have in Europe. And so, liberal young people across Europe have come up with 10 solutions to youth unemployment. Bureaucracies need to be relaxed and it should be easier to dismiss people in order to make the labour market more flexible. Unemployment benefits need to be raised, but available for a shorter period of time. We can create incentives for job seekers. We can give them an increase in their unemployment benefits when they enter education and decrease their unemployment benefits when people reject job offers. Entrepreneurship can be encouraged by giving tax cuts and awards to young entrepreneurs. And we can make young employees more attractive to companies by giving the companies a tax cut when they hire young people. To make sure youngsters finish their education, they need tutoring and monitoring. If students drop out of school anyway, we need to facilitate alternative routes to learning and on-the-job training. The gap between education and the work field, such as private companies and education, needs to be limited. The government can provide assistance to local initiatives and projects. And last but not least, European countries have to make binding commitments to education targets.